Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. Third try on this video. I do have screen capture, you know, native just installed on this Google Pixel, but unfortunately the Hollywood Reporter, they would put like a header that you couldn't scroll past, or as you scrolled down it would just stay there, and then there was a bunch of, you know, uh, stuff on the bottom. So it was like this real narrow window. So it was like, it didn't, I recorded it as a screen capture video. It didn't really work as a screen capture video. I am. I was supposed to get my tablet yesterday, and I missed it. It was saying, like, you're going to get it next week, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, you missed the delivery. It's like, are you serious? And the acoustics here are weird. Like, in my room, just with the door closed, I can't hear anything. I can't hear a door knock. I can't hear the doorbell. I actually went to go test if the doorbell actually works. I was like, yeah, it's a... I don't know. I don't live in a stone castle, but for some reason, the acoustics crazy. I wish I would have had acoustics like this in every apartment I ever lived in because that would literally convey sound. One time uh, I was living in a condo, you know, condo specs, which means they have like extra drywall in between the uh, units. And uh, my neighbor was like pissed. He's like, what are you doing here? What do you got a bowling alley? And I was like, no. And he, he kept coming over to complain. And finally, I was like, dude, come in. I'm just watching Clone Wars. Like, I don't know what the hell you're hearing. It turns out our downstairs neighbors, but not even below um, us. It was like below and over. These guys literally set up a half pipe in their apartment. And they were skating on a half pipe. But the weird acoustics like made the sound go up through the wall and like over through the floor. So he just assumed it was me. I was like, no, it's not me. And I've never seen, well, actually, no. Three times I've seen a neighbor get kicked out in one day. And they're just like, get the fuck out. Well, we have 30 days notice. Get the fuck out. And these guys, they were like two frat guys. Literally for an entire day, they carried out bags of trash. Like, it was eight hours of carrying trash. Like, they never took their trash out. So, I, I think that's how they got kicked out in one day. I think you're allowed 30 days, but there's an exemption or exception for if it's, like, a health hazard. These lazy assholes literally never took the trash out. And the dumpster was, like, right there at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, over a little bit. Um, <laughs> but, uh, anyway, back on... Okay. That was a little that was a little entertaining story. It was okay. It was a little anecdote. Anyway, so one of the things that always creeps me out, and SJWs do this all the time, is when something happens, they will go tweet out, what are we thinking about this? They are literally asking for the consensus so they can agree. So the consensus is that this is just awful and egregious. It's elder abuse. It's completely immoral, except for... I read past the headline like none of them did. And it's a complete nothing burger where they do not have the license. You know how there was like um, Carrie Fisher was in Rogue something? Planet? Rogue something. And uh, Peter Cushing and Carrie Fisher, they did digital versions of them in recent Star Wars movies. I mean, KFC, you had B, C, and D list celebrities Dressing up like Colonel Sanders. Like, it's a thing. You you make a deal with whoever has the rights to the likeness, and then you use it after their death. Walt Disney, his signature is on everything. He's not actually signing those things. So everyone is assuming it's going to be this uncanny valley, you know, Stan Lee um, cameo in Guardians of the Galaxy 3. But I actually read past the headline. It's four movies... And theme parks specifically, and it's just his likeness, like a drawing or a photograph, already recorded audio and his signature. That's it. So when you go to the Marvel store at Disneyland, which I don't know if it exists, but it probably does. There's like a little Marvel kiosk, at least. So you can go there and you can buy a lithograph. And at the bottom, it'll say, it'll have a picture of Stan Lee, and it'll have a signature. Like, that's it. There'll be a balloon with a picture of him. There'll be oversized popcorn with his image on, like, it's stupid. It's it's nothing. Stan Lee would have liked it, you know? He signed these deals. I saw someone called Elder Abuse. It's like, 
It's his picture on a freaking popcorn container. He would have loved it. And also, I remember back then in 2017 when those, it was freaking the websites that are calling this elder abuse, they were spreading defamatory stories saying that Stan Lee was sexually harassing his nurse because he was 96. He didn't know which way was up and he, did, he didn't keep his hands exactly at his sides. I remember when you guys were trying to destroy his legacy. Absolutely destroy it. So don't sit here and cry crocodile tears because a cartoon drawing of him is going to be on the side of like the gift shop bag. Shut the fuck up. There's no contract for an Uncanny Valley 3D animation cameo that's going to be in the next MCU shit show. And we know they can't do computer graphics well because I just saw the trailer. For She-Hulk. So that's Luna scratching at the door, which means she's no longer an outdoor dog. She loves air conditioning, so I'm going to go let her in. Thanks for watching. Bye.